Have you ever seen somebody on social media reference their link in bio? You click on that link, it opens up a web browser with this really cool customized layout that has all of their materials, their resources, their downloadables, and maybe even links to their other social media. I happen to have one of those pages, but it's a custom built one inside of Webflow. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to build your very own link in bio inside of Webflow. All right, let's dive in and build out our custom links page. You can see I have uh, just my browser open. I've modeled it into a mobile device, and this is the type of page that we're gonna be building. Um, you know, it just has some, any type of content you want, iconography that represents our other social media platforms, and then I have a bunch of feature cards that represent my courses and community and different things that I wanna promote, as well as a spot for uh, maybe even some YouTube content and a newsletter sign up. Uh, so I'm going to jump over into Webflow and you can see I have that all laid out here. We're going to ignore the animated banner for today because uh, you can really customize this and make it be anything you want it to be. So uh, I'm going to create a new page inside of my project. And one of the benefits of doing this, keep this in mind, is this is an already established website that has styles. It has a style guide. So when I create a headline or body copy, it's already going to be defined. That's going to save us a lot of time in this walkthrough. But if you don't have that, you'll be having to set up those styles as you go. So I'm gonna create a new page. I'm just gonna call this links new like that and create that new page. It's completely empty and we're ready to get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is drop in a container. The container is gonna basically contain the width so everything stays within that element. You can't change the width of the container, it's predefined. Um, and so it matches the rest of the site. So that's, we're tossing that in there and we're able to, you can see as we start to close things in, uh, we can see the responsive nature of it. Um, so we really aren't gonna have any padding inside of our container once we drop down to the mobile. But let's keep building and we'll see how it goes. Uh, next thing we are gonna have is we're gonna have an avatar and some sort of headline. So I'm just gonna close this up and I'm gonna copy and paste this headline. But first, let's throw in an image. So I'm gonna hit image, I'm gonna choose that image. I'm gonna go down and look for that avatar, which I know is down here somewhere. And there it is, just like so. I'm gonna size it way down. Um, I'm not gonna be super like perfect about that size. Uh, but then I'm just gonna grab the border radius here. I'm gonna turn that all the way up, something like that. And it starts to look a little bit more like a circle. So I'm gonna put it up to like 100. That should probably be enough to make it look like a circle. Okay, great. So far, so good. Next thing I'm going to do is add a heading and let's make it like an, an H2 and we will paste in the information that we had before. Let's actually make it more like an H3. That works good. And then we're going to go copy and paste a little bit of body copy. And we are just stacking these things uh, using the box model. So they're just um, displaying from top to bottom, left to right, and that's exactly how we want it for this layout. So it's kind of easy, but kind of convenient at the same time. All right, I'm gonna paste in my text. That's looking pretty good. Next thing we're gonna do is a list of social media links. So we have a list of five links there. Um, and what we might wanna do actually is we might wanna just come in here and drop in a div block. That div block is gonna be pretty ambiguous. Um, and then what we can do is uh, put inside of that div block a link block and then we'll be able to add an image inside of the link block and we'll go find the image and we should be able to find some social media iconography there like that. So that looks pretty good. It's inside of that link, inside of that div. You can see, you can kind of see that little tree structure that's starting to build there. That's exactly what we want. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna take that link block and then just copy and paste. Um, and we're gonna come inside of the div block and just make sure that we display everything inside of there as inline block. That'll just keep everything going from left to right in case there's any sort of issues once we start getting responsive in nature. So we'll just double check and see how it looks. It's a, a pretty nice, simple, easy little layout so far. We're just gonna rush through and uh, change the images simply by clicking on the gear there, replacing the image, and then we'll look for the next social media icon that we're gonna place. Next thing we're gonna do is uh, we'll probably put all of these inside of their own container later, but for now, why don't we just start with a link block? Cause I want this entire card here to be clickable. Um, and so I'm gonna bring that up and in like so. And 
we want to make sure that we display that block so it jumps to the next line, right? Displaying an inline block, we'll just tuck it up in that same line as the previous elements, but we don't want that. We want it out here. And let's call this, let's rename this one really quickly, uh, links social. So we just have some sort of name defining it and our link block. We're going to rename this one a link card and uh, then we'll be able to start styling it basically. So um, why don't we style it really quickly? Uh, what are we going to put inside? Let's actually put a columned layout inside. And you can see we have like a lot more um, space for the text here than we do the actual um, image. So why don't I just bump that over? We'll do like a four and eight type column. Um, so yeah, like two columns, one of them is going to fill up like a less space than the other. And we will click inside of that and we'll click inside the column. And now you can actually tap on column one. That's where we're going to insert our image. So why don't we insert an image like that? And we're going to choose an image and then we'll take our actual column, our link card here. Um, because that's where you can see like our image is actually inside of it. Um, and we will just make sure that the overflow doesn't display. And now you can see how we get the image just to go like flush there. And then the last thing we can do for our image is we can just make sure that we are taking the image size and then like actually trying to like basically contain it, you know, so we don't want it to fill. We want it to contain uh, or cover. We can choose either one of those. I think cover might work well because as our image starts to shrink a little bit, Whereas our screen resolution shrinks, it's going to continue to try to do its best to cover the indicated area all the way down to mobile, which is pretty good. Now we're seeing a little bit of an issue, which is we have no margin and padding once we get past our tablet mode. So right around here, we're going to want to take our container and let's just give our container a, we're going to call it a class of container links. We get down to mobile, we're going to want to give it some sort of padding. So why don't we just pick, I'm holding down the option or start button and uh, I click 20 and it's going to give 20 pixels left and right. So now we get a little bit of that space there, which is pretty nice. Okay. Um, cool, cool, cool. And then once we drop down to mobile, we're going to take, make sure we have none of that padding on the left and right hand edge like so. And let's jump back up and we'll just take that padding off of the left and right hand edge anyways, all right? So it was trying to basically like create a little bit of padding or margin in between. We're gonna have this image butt all the way up against this left hand side of the column to the second column, which is on the right hand side. Um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come into the columns um, and we're just going to display flex here. So we're gonna apply the flex layout and we're gonna say we want everything to be in the middle. See how immediately our secondary column here kicked into the middle. That's gonna be super great for our text, which I should be able to come back here really quickly and just grab some text. And then in our second column, add text inside. There we go. All right, so everything's looking good and we can change the, we could stylize and change the color of our typography inside of it. We could make it a little bit bigger. Like we can call this like link uh, card text text link card, something like that. And we could change like, because it's inside of a link block, it's immediately gonna hyperlink it, but we could make it black if we wanted to, or like an off black. And we could change the size of it and actually pump it up to be something like 18. So it's a little bit more legible. That looks a little bit better. And we'll take it from bold back down to normal, something like that. And uh, we could, you know, obviously add the link inside of here pointing to wherever we want it. Right now it's stubbed with a hashtag. But if we just take the same card, and just copy and paste it. You can see in how we now get multiple cards going down our page. Um, and these look pretty good. I think the last thing we wanna do is take our text block and just give a little bit of padding. So again, I'm holding down the option or start button. I'm gonna give it something like 40 pixels of padding. You can see that there. The reason this matters is because as our screen resolution starts to shrink, right? We're just making sure we protect the information inside of it. And then right around here, we can actually flip our link columns from being directionally from horizontal to vertical. And now we still have a little bit of that space because of the padding that we've applied to the card. And that'll actually just trace all the way down to our smallest mobile device size, right? So that looks pretty good. All right, and we'll come back up. After we're done doing this, like I said, we could, if we wanted to, we could wrap these all within a div or we could just say like, hey, what's the next thing we want inside? Maybe it's something like a YouTube video. So I'm just gonna roll down. I'm gonna click on 
YouTube video or just video in general. And let's grab the link for the YouTube video. I'm just gonna copy it there and paste the URL inside and it auto loads and great, perfect. Now we can actually, if we want to, uh, we could just take this video like and title, give it a class of link, uh, not link title, link video like that and just give it a little bit of margin. And for the last thing we had, I think a newsletter sign up, which comes from my, my newsletter like uh, platform. You wanted to do that. All you'd have to do is drop in an embed that would go below and then paste in your embed code and again, style it. And then boom, you're pretty much all done. So we're able to just get rid of that for now. This looks pretty good. And we can just look at it here on like the mobile and boom, looks pretty nice. Well, that's it. That's how simple it is to build your own customized link in bio using Webflow. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification icon so you know when more Webflow videos like this one come out. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and make sure you check the description for some helpful links on how to get started with Webflow. I hope you're having an amazing week, designing amazing things, making amazing things, and working smarter, not harder. We'll see you in the next one.